welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I'm so excited to have you here today. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It's going to be my fantasy $20,000 fashion wish list, cart, basket, whatever. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, the content that I provide here is all around style and fashion for the plus size mature woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post one to two times a week, so if you enjoy my content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. If you are a returning friend, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. Like I said, this is gonna be a fun one as this is actually derived from a tag that I saw Emily Noel doing. It was her her fantasy $1,000 Sephora cart. She encouraged any content creators out there to do the tag and I thought that I would, but I put a fashion spin on it and I raised the price point significantly because um, yeah, there's some good stuff on my list. One of the other reasons that I'm doing it is because I always think it's a lot of fun to make pretend like money is no object and look at things that I normally wouldn't look at because the price point is a little bit beyond, you know, my budget, my everyday budget, but it's a good idea, I think, at least in my mind, to do something like this every once in a while so that that way you, you know, you indulge yourself a little bit in thinking about if money were no object, what would I buy? I believe that it is important that we invest in ourselves, even if it's just every once in a while that you just drop a little bit of money on yourself because it's worth it, whether that be your wardrobe, an accessory, like a handbag or something like that, or even if it is like education, coursework, stuff like that. It is always important to invest in yourself because it really is something good that you can do for yourself and is, in my opinion, a form of self-care. So all of that said, let's go ahead and let me dive into the list that I have of things that I would buy if money were no object. So to start out, the first thing that I would get myself is an Hermes Kelly bag. I have wanted a Kelly bag for years and years, like decades probably, since I first discovered what an Hermes bag is. Now the Birkin, which is another one of their bags, is a little bit too big for me. I would much rather have the Kelly bag. It's a little bit smaller and it is a beautifully structured bag. And if you know anything about me, you know I love a good structured bag. And the Kelly bag for me is the ultimate. If I got a brand new one, I would blow my budget or go above budget. So I would have to resort to getting a pre-owned or pre-loved Kelly bag. I would have to maintain a budget of about 10,000. So I would have to find something, you know, in that range, but I'm not really upset about getting something pre-owned or pre-loved because you might be able to score a beautiful vintage Kelly bag. Why would I blow half of my budget on one of these Kelly bags? From my perspective, I think this is the ultimate investment in yourself. Well, no, let me take that back. This is a really great investment in myself because to me, the Kelly bag would be something that I would get as a gift to myself to celebrate a, an accomplishment of some sort. It would be something that I would have to commemorate a good moment or a special moment or a big milestone that I may have hit. I think that it is the ultimate in handbags and I would cherish my Kelly bag. The second item on my list is the Burberry Kensington trench coat. Now a trench coat is a strong classic piece that you can have in your wardrobe that is seasonless. So that makes it incredibly versatile. It's definitely a, a coat that you can count on. I would probably go for one in gray, although they do also come in black, which I feel is a little bit too harsh and uh, the beige, which beige isn't really my speed. I'm more of a gray kind of person because I like how gray looks with things like my favorite color, like pink. This trench coat retails for nearly $2,000, $1,990, but the Burberry Kensington Trench is really, really well-constructed trench coat. It is a very classic piece and it is one of the best made that are out there. It will last and last and last and I would be able to wear it with anything. The next thing on my list are a pair of shoes and these beauties from Gucci are really fantastic in my opinion and worth 
the $890 that they cost. It is the Gucci Zumi Square Toe Pump. The shoe has got a really nice heel. It's about a two and a half inch, maybe three inch heel, which is very wearable for me. I also really like that slightly squared off toe. It's pointy, but it's got that squared off tip. And then the hardware on the shoe itself is fantastic because that means that I could wear it with a purse that has gold or silver hardware, a belt that has gold or silver hardware. It's going to work with everything. Besides that, the actual look of the shoe is very classic. It is a beautiful pump. It is one that I could wear for hours and hours and hours, I imagine. Everything else that I've got on my list is actually from Eleven Honore. I am not sponsored by them. If you're not familiar with Eleven Honore though, they are a plus size designer online store. They carry quite a few designer brands in plus sizes. Being designer, sometimes it's really, really challenging to find something in plus size, but Eleven Honore is a great hub for that type of product. Again, not sponsored by them. They don't even know I exist, but I really, really love their website. I love to go in and look to see what's new and all of the beautiful things that they have. I Item number four that I would get would be this beautiful Jason Wu jersey cocktail dress. It is, first of all, in a spectacular shade of blue. I love this shade of blue. It has a lot of draping and a lot of ruching on it. It is made of a jersey knit and it has a v-neck on it even though it has long sleeves i really think that it's a very versatile cocktail dress it retails at 1895 dollars the dress is really well constructed i can tell just by looking at it on the website the ruching and draping that it has is all very very strategically placed there are a lot of different body types that would be able to fit this dress and wear it well being an apple shaped body type i think that this actually is a really wonderful dress because it creates a lot of movement and kind of distorts the line a bit so it hides the belly and gives you a really beautiful illusion of an hourglass figure. The drape of the fabric, you can tell that it's a really nicely weighted jersey knit and it is stunning. If money were no object, dropping $1,800, $1,900 on this dress, I would do it for sure. The next dress that I have, and I hope I pronounce this correctly, is from Yigal Azruel and it is a silk cashmere pullover sweater dress with a pleat. So what caught my eye about this dress is a couple of different things. It is made of silk cashmere, which is gonna be stunningly soft on the skin. And what I really liked about it though is that it had a lot of beautiful visual interest with that contrasting pleated section in it on the side. It takes a basic sweater dress and kind of gives it something really unique and edgy. This is one dress that I'm not 100% sure I could pull off because it is a straight line dress, but it does come with a belt and that will help to define the waist a little bit, but it's one that I would have to try on to make sure fits well. I do like the contrasting cuff on the sleeve. I think that's also another little interesting element that it has. I forgot to mention the price. It comes in at $895 for a silk cashmere blend. I think that that's a really that's a good price point, it's decent, and the fact that it has that interesting surprise element to it. Definitely one that I would really love to at least try. Uh, the next dress that I have on the list is this beautiful orange number from Christian Siriano. The dress retails for $1,300. It is in a really beautiful punchy orange. It has these lovely puff sleeves and it has a cutout on the shoulder. This dress to me is a classic chic dress, so it is very figure flattering and I love the color. I think that that orange color is stunning. I love the puff sleeve. Even though right now puff sleeves are trending, I think that this puff sleeve, the way it's constructed, would be one that would surpass a trend, meaning that it is something that I would consider a classic shape. So he's taken a lot of classic elements, 
but punched them up with color and then also added that really interesting little cutout on the shoulder which is very subtle and means that I would be able to wear it to work but I could also wear it out or to an event. I think the fit is going to be really beautiful because it looks like it has darting on the um, torso so that really cinches in and really defines the waistline. If you're an apple shape like me this dress is going to look fantastic on you because it's got really good fit. The fabric is an interesting thing. It is a polyester fabric but I have ordered some Christian Siriano dresses from Rent the Runway in the past. The fabric actually is really good at kind of streamlining the body. It's not shapewear, but it certainly does smooth things out. And uh, it's got a real heavy weight to it. This dress is a stunner. I think I could definitely get that and rock it. Okay, so moving on to tops, I have this one from Good American and this one actually has got a very stunning price point at $65. Now these are supposed to be athleisure, which, you know, I'm not big on athleisure, but this one I would make an exception for because it looks dressier than athleisure. But what I love about this top is that it is a twofer. You get to wear it in two different ways. So if you wear it on one side, it's got a really nice rounded collar. You turn it around on the other side, you've got this beautiful crisscross and that crisscross is going to look really pretty, create a really nice V neck for you and elongate you a little bit. Going back to wearing it with the rounded collar and having the crisscross in the back, I can imagine wearing something like a really pretty bra that has got like a, a lace panel in the back and that peeking out of the back of the shirt would be really, really cute, I think. But I can see myself wearing this with anything, honestly. This is a beautiful, stunning top and at $65, even though it is, you know, this is supposed to be my fantasy basket, this is something that I would definitely throw into that basket because of its versatility and also because it just looks really nice. The next thing I have on my list is the Haney Cairo top. And this top is retailing for $1,250, which seems pretty steep for the top, but it is made of a beautiful silk satin in a lovely cream color. It has a keyhole in the front. It has poet sleeves and it is kind of blousey. On the website, it was really, really smart of them to uh, style this casually because Easily, this could be worn in an office environment. You know, you tuck it into a pencil skirt and you'll look really super polished. But styling it casually on the website, it also shows you that it can be worn casually and how good it looks being worn casually. So you can wear something super luxe like this and dress it way down and you're gonna look like a million bucks. And that's what I truly love about this top other than the fact that it is a silk satin and I really, really, really love the sheen of it. And I like that keyhole. I think that keyhole is a nice element um, as well as the poet sleeves. I think that those are really pretty, very romantic. And even if you're wearing it as part of a suit or as part of an outfit for business, it lends a nice femininity uh, to your look so yeah absolutely think this is a stunning basic classic piece that you would have in your wardrobe for a really really long time get fabulous cost per wear from it so moving on to this really interesting blazer bodysuit by Maurice and it is retailing at $575. I have a top similar to this that I really, really like because it makes me feel really, really pulled together really, really quickly. It's kind of like a no brainer piece to wear because you've got the notched collar. So it automatically looks really polished, really powerful. It's a bodysuit, so you don't have to worry about tucking it in. You're going to look really nice and streamlined in this. I think that this top is so versatile. If I were to get this anytime that I would wear it, I would feel instantly pulled together, whether I was dressing it down or dressing it up. The next item that I have is from the Eleven Honore line itself and it is called the Maya Pant. It retails at $348. Now this is a satin wide leg pant. I love wide leg pants because I like how they're dressy but slouchy but effortless and polished 
all rolled into one and especially in a satin i think that the satin is going to look really really pretty they've styled it somewhat casually here i think that it would also dress up beautifully i would need to have these altered of course but for being a an apple shape plus size petite gal i think a wide leg pant is actually a really really great thing to have and i think that i would get a good amount of use out of these pair of pants the last thing that i have on my list is this blazer by veronica beard it is called the fairly dicky jacket now i would not wear the dicky part and the dicky part is that sweater that you see in the picture it zips in on the inside you can buy different dickies and different colors i'm not a fan of the dicky myself i love this blazer though first of all it's a glen plaid i don't have a glen plaid blazer in my wardrobe today and it's good to have a blazer in black but it's also good to diversify your blazer collection and this would be a piece that would help me to diversify my blazer collection i really love the glen plaid i love the shades of bluish gray that it's got running through it but more importantly this is a really interesting take on a structured blazer because of the upturned notch collar that it has that gives it a really modern twist and at $645, I think that this is an excellent, excellent investment piece. It's going to look fantastic no matter what. It's just a really wonderful modern take on a blazer. And Veronica Beard makes excellent blazers. Now, all of these, all told, come out to just a little under $20,000. I'm about $150 shy of budget. Being designer, they're probably made for tall women. None of these are in a in a petite plus. So I would use the remainder of my budget on alterations and would be willing to pay even a little bit over my budget in order to make sure that everything fits perfectly. Because when it comes to designer pieces like this, you absolutely should have them tailored because you spent a lot of money on them, spend a little bit extra on the tailoring and they're going to look fantastic on you. You're going to look and feel like 20 million bucks. Let me know in the comments down below what are some of the pieces that you would get for yourself if money were no object. I will have a video for you right here that's been selected just for you. Thank you as always so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye!